Hi everyone and welcome to this review note. In this clip we're going to be exploring uh, subnetting the second octet. I'm going to assume that you know how subnetting works and that you know how to subnet using easy math. If you don't know how to do that, I would highly recommend that you review parts two and three of this video series. In this example, we're going to subnet a fairly large business. Here is our assigned network. Based on our design, we need nine subnets, one to represent each one of these regions that we can see, at least we've got three of them, we have more that we're gonna to have to deal with. The idea behind this is that we're going to have an autonomous network admin team in each one of those regions. They're going to figure out what the design is gonna to be to best meet their region. Our job is to make sure that we don't have IP conflicts between the regions so that everybody can communicate. We have to figure out how many of the host bits available from these last three octets from our assigned network we need to borrow to give us our nine subnets. We do that by figuring out what power do we have to raise to to give us a minimum of this. And two to raise to the power of four is going to give us 16. That's the lowest we can go. If we raise two to the power of three, we only get eight. So that's not going to work for us. Let's figure out which one of our octets is subnetted. We have eight bits that are from our assigned address. We borrowed four. That gives us a total of 12. That's going to be between eight and 16. So therefore our second octet is going to be subnetted. Also, of course, 12 being the number of bits we're gonna be using for network represents our cyber value. How many bits are left over? Well, we take our 32, we subtract eight that we use from our assigned network, we subtract the four subnet bits, and that leaves us with 20. That's how many each one of those regional admin teams are going to have available to do whatever they need to in order to satisfy their requirements in their particular area for their network. Next thing, let's figure out what the block size is going to be. If I take that maximum 16 subnets based on the four subnet bits that I borrowed, divide that into 256, I end up with 16. That gives me my block size. From that, we can figure out what the subnet mask is going to be. We know that that first octet is all network based on our assigned address and therefore is going to be 255. If we look at the last two octets, we know that those are going to be all zeros. The subnetted octet, that's the one that's going to be the question. So we can take that octet, we subtract our block size from 256, that gives us 240, which is the value of the subnet mask in the subnet and octet, and therefore we get our overall subnet mask. Now we can start building our network map. Our assigned network is 10, that has to match in all of our subnets. We know that the last two octets are going to be zero because those are all host. Our second octet is the question, that's our subnet and octet, and we know that that always starts with zero. So our first network address is going to be 10 and then followed by three zeros. If we go to the next network, we simply in the subnetted octet add the block size. Here's our block size. We add 16 to zero. That gives us our next network. We keep doing that until all of our networks are defined. Start with zero, add block, add block. And I'm showing the last one as well, this guy here which if we take 256 and subtract the block size, that's going to give us 240. That's gonna be our last subnet. Quick sanity check, that value in the subnet at octet on our last subnet should equal the same value as what's in the subnet mask. And of course it does. Next we'll have to do our broadcast addresses. Broadcast address is always the last address in the network one less than the next network. If we look at our second network here, then we simply subtract one from that to give us this address. Quick sanity check. We take whatever the subnetted octet is, subtract one, the last two octets are always going to be 255. How about the first host address for each one of our networks? Again, the host address is one greater than the network. Here is our network address. We add one, the least significant bit in the last octet, which gives us 
instead of 10.0.0.0, 10.0.0.1. Quick sanity check. Network part, all the same. Last octet, always one. And the last thing we have to do for our network map is the last valid host address. Again, the last valid host address is going to be one less than the broadcast address. If I look at my broadcast address, that last octet, simply one less. Again, quick sanity check. The subnet at octet, one less than the next network. So 15, one less than 16. The third octet, always going to be 255. And the last tech octet, always going to be 254. And that is a pretty easy way to figure out what our networks, what our broadcast addresses, what our host addresses are on all of our different uh, networks using the easy math setup. That is subnetting in the second octet. It's a wrap for the video. Hopefully this has been helpful for you and we'll see you next time.